So this topic is the mathematics of population growth, and our first technique is called the linear growth model. And we have two definitions for the linear growth model here. One is the recursive definition, the other is the explicit. Um, take note that the recursive definition is a two-step method. First, we must know a previous generation's population. In this description, they're telling us P0, the generation 0 population. And to find subsequent populations, P sub n, we can replace n with 1, which would mean that population of generation 1 would be equal to population of 1 minus 1, which is generation 0. We would reference it from the previous line. And we would add to that the common difference, and that common difference is often called the growth rate of the population. Over here we see that the population is being defined explicitly. This becomes useful when we're dealing with skipping numerous generations, because with the recursive model we need to calculate each generation independently. So if we wanted to get to generation 5, we would have to do 5 calculations where with the explicit description we can jump straight to generation 5. Down below we see a sample problem. This is the type of problem found in uh, the back of the section of the textbook. And it asks us to consider a population that grows according to the recursive rule. And the recursive rule is defined here. P, which is population of generation n, is equal to P of n minus 1 the population of the previous generation, and increment it plus by 125 with an initial population, a starting population of 80. So part A says to find populations of generations 1, 2, and 3 recursively. So let's do that now. So population of generation 1 will be population of 1 minus 1. We're taking the generation we're finding, and we're subtracting 1 from it. We need to add to that the 125 of the increment. And now we can simplify this. P1 is equal to P0 plus 125. P0 we can reference. P1 is equal to 80 plus 125. We can say that the population of generation 1 is 205. Now when we're asked to find the population of generation 2, again we take the n, which is 2, we subtract 1 from it, add the common difference. This means we are looking for population 2 to be the sum of population of generation 1 plus 125. We can reference the population of generation 1. So P2 is equal to 1 uh, is equal to 205 plus 125. P2 is equal to 330. Similarly, we can do the same thing for subsequent populations. And we can start to do this uh, more streamlined. And we've completed part A. Part B asks that we write the explicit description for this population. So we're just following the formula. The formula says P sub n is equal to P sub 0 plus n times the common difference. So if we want to find a population of the nth generation, for this model, it would be 80. Plus n times 125. Part C asks that we implement this new model to find the population of generation 100. So we're going to replace this P0 with 80, 
and this N with 100, because it should match the subscript. One hundred times one twenty five is twelve thousand five hundred. And we get that the population of generation three or generation one hundred would be twelve thousand five hundred and eighty.